Sonya with Artsy Solutions, and I want to show you how I made this little bingo card. Um, basically, it's just like a little hanging sign. You can like hang it up on the wall or whatever. And it just has some ribbon and lace. Um, and then I put together this little, um, it's a piece of a stem uh, that comes from a, a little Christmas thing, whatever. <laughs> So, and then I used some enamel gloss from Tim Holtz, um, different enamel glosses on these. So let me show you where I got the idea from and how it all got started. So I'm doing like a little follow along for uh, Louise Heinzel's uh, junk journal tutorial uh, advent calendar and it's like 24 days of crafting. So her first video prompts and uh, she has a website or whatever that shows you all the prompts and things so I just printed it out and today's was bingo card ribbon and deer so I didn't have my own bingo card so I printed one out and I printed this out from it's a freebie kit on pixel scrapper and um, it's my digital kit because I'm a designer on a commons designer on pixel scrapper it's from his story that kit and so I, it's a PNG element and I just printed it out at the size it was so it's pretty big so and then um, for deer I think I'm going to use a card from my um, journaling kit it's the peace on earth uh, envelope and ephemera kit uh, so there's a deer on here I think I'll just use it so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to cut this bingo card out and I'm going to add it since it's on 110 pound cardstock it's not very thick and I want it thick so I'm just going to cut it out distress the edges and I'm going to glue it to some uh, chipboard I'll be right back and so I'm just going to cut this out okay it says since it has like a curled edge or rounded off edge I'm just going to come through with some scissors and fix that on each one of these edges and then I'm just going to take this alcohol marker using the wide tip and just kind of go over the edges to make it black again Okay, so I'm just going to cut out this uh, 5 by 7 journal cord. And then I'm just going to fussy cut out this deer. I'm going to try to get in there without messing it up. Let's see if I can come in through from the bottom. I was going to try to salvage this little area, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to cut this in half.
I'll just use the deer and then I'm just going to make it stronger and I'm just going to glue it to some cardstock. I'm just going to highlight it. Just going to cut this out. So I'm going to try to play around with some of this distress enamel um, embossing glaze crackling campfire. So I'm going to take some uh, Distress Oxide Vintage Photo and I'm just going to run this, I'm going to run it over top of this deer that I just cut out. Okay. I'm just going to Put it on top of here, sprinkle some of this um, embossing glaze on here. still has that shine and you can still see the deer. Next I'm going to stamp some images. Um, I have these clear stamps by Stamp Abilities and um, basically it just, they have like different like hunting and outdoor theme things, uh, stamps on it. And there's one that in particular I like that has like a moose. I think I'll use it. I'm just going to stamp a few images. And I'm going to cut them out. And I'm only getting the head. I'm just going to trim it down just a little bit because I want to be able to get the image inside the um, hole punch to where it captures the head good enough. And these are going to become the little pieces uh, for the bingo, the little bingo pieces.
And of course, I'm going to distress the edges of these. And I'm gonna add these to some black card stock. <clears throat> Just three of them and this is just going to make it a little bit thicker it's just going to make the coins or the these little things a little bit thicker I'm just going to use some art glitter glue so glue it on there So I have some pattern paper that I think I'm just going to add to this. Not sure how it's going to turn out, but it's, I'm just going to do it anyway. I'm going to use it anyway. I'm just going to tear it. I'm going to place it, like just randomly place it on there. And I'm going to use some Mod Podge to glue it on. I'm just going to glue this on in moderation. This is some homemade Mod Podge. I'm having to be somewhat careful because I, when I printed this out, it's, I printed it out on inkjet paper or inkjet printer, so I don't want the letters to bleed or fade through. I want them to fade through and bleed through, but I don't want them to go away. You know what I mean? I know you know what I mean. <laughs> And then I'm just going to tear these edges off. And I'm gonna let it dry okay so I'm gonna tone this down a little bit I'm gonna take some water down just so and I'm just going to lightly brush over the page just to kind of 
lighten it up a little bit and give it that vintage vibe. I'm just going to take my little rag and I'm going to dampen over some of the spots that I don't want as pronounced because I do want bingo to show and I want free space to show a little bit and then the rest can just kind of fade on in there. Just a little bit more. blend in and I'm just going to let that dry and then I'm just going to take this little round uh, sponge brush and because it's a little bit bigger than the little bingo chips and I'm just going to make some little splotches where I'm going to set the bingo pieces just to kind of highlight it a little bit. And I'm just going to let that dry. You know what I'm going to do? Yeah, I was going to, you know what, why not? I'm going to just have fun with it. Some of this green. I just want to see how it's going to turn out. I don't know. It may work. It may not work. I don't know. I'm just want to see. I mean, since I am playing with the. like that. I think I need to put this, I need to make another one. I like that. Okay, so I'm just going to distress the edges. I'm going to start out using this um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink Walnut Stain. 
I want to see how that does. So just kind of a little bit of green in there. And this is a uh, pill paint. This just kind of gives it like a Christmassy, vintage Christmassy kind of look to it. And then I'm just going to glue these little things on. It's my little art glitter glue. I don't know how it's going to stay or how well it's going to stay with art glitter glue against this enamel paint. But we're going to see. I probably should have used some dimensionals. That's fine. I don't have to. I don't have to use dimensionals. This will work just fine. So we have our deer, or moose, or whatever you want to call it. Close enough. <laughs> in the middle. I wasn't sure where to put it at at first, but yeah, I think I'm just going to put it in the middle and let it be the centerpiece. And then I'm going to add some ribbon to it. I'm going to punch two holes. I need to mark where I want them at. Maybe there and about right there. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And I'm just going to take my crocodile. some eyelets. Okay. 
And now I have some, um, I have some lace, some, some black ribbon. I think I'll just cut it in half. Or I may leave it thick. I think that's too thick. I'm just going to cut it in half. Also have some of this green might be too much I think I'll use brown yeah the brown will kind of tone it down some still pull it and I can still cut it. And then I need to find something to hang down off of there. Okay, so I'm going to add this little piece of a uh, Stem. It's from a little Christmas stem, and I just took a little piece of the pine off of it. So I'm just going to add this little crimp to it. Now I'm not whatsoever, I'm not like an, what do you call it? I'm not a jewelry maker, basically. So I'm just going to try to make this work. So I just put the little crimp on there. Or, ribbon in whatever it's called and I'm just going to take this little or I guess needle nose pliers or some type of pliers or whatever and I'm just going to squeeze it shut as best I can because I want it to stay then I'm just going to add a jump ring to it Let me open this up like I said, I am not a jewelry maker. I'm just trying to create something. Put that back in here. gonna feed this through the ribbon. I'm gonna try to straighten it out a little bit. And then I'm just gonna twist the ends. And then feed this through. And then move all this stuff away. I'm gonna complete adding this into here. 
Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. So I'm basically getting ready to put this back on here. And I've already fed the whatever this little thing is through there. I'm going to put this one here and tie it. And depending on how tall you want it will determine how far you need to pull your string or your ribbon. I think this is good enough, so I'm just going to tie it. Stir it off the back. And then I'm just going to take this little ring, whatever this thing's called. And then I'm going to add another jump ring to connect the stem, the little pine stem. basically have it. And voila. I may add like a little star. I'm just going to take some scrap paper and add that on there. And just a little bit of this enamel. take this little star punch and punch an area that's been enameled. And I'm just going to glue it up to the top. Actually, I'm going to do like two of them or three of them. Okay, so that's it. Um, I just added some black around the stars and glued them on. And here it is. So I hope you like this video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, follow, um, click the bell, check out my social media sites uh, and blog and stuff like that. And thanks for watching. Bye.